the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 153, Psalms 103 to 106. Praise God, my soul, for the psalmist who knew the wonderful love extended to the man who fears God, praising God was most certainly his first priority. First point. David ordered his own soul to praise God. Psalm 103 was written by David. David, who was used to giving commands as king, commanded his own spirit to praise the Lord. He commanded his spirit to look to God, because he knew that the reason humans were created was in order to praise God. The God that David experienced was merciful and remembered his people. Although humans are weak and limited, we can always turn to the Almighty God, our Creator. In order to praise God, we can live the way David did, by knowing about God. We can make reference to other parts in the Bible as we read David's psalm. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge Him. We can also refer to St. John's Confession. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. Second point. David confessed that God has mercy for those who have sympathy for the weak. The expression of awe used in Psalm 103 contains a very important meaning. It shows how we as creations fear and are in awe of God the Creator. Someone who is in awe of God always remembers Him and has Him in one's conscience. This is why and how we can focus on the heart of God and always be prepared to follow where He guides us. Someone who follows in God can always live a full life, as well as guiding such a life to their descendants. Third point, the psalmist confessed that he will sing of God's praises forever. It has been assumed that the author of Psalms 103 and 104 is David judging from the psalmist commanding their soul to praise God. The psalmist praises God for the creation of the world. As long as we remember that God is the Creator, humans can always live a humble life. We as creations should live by praising God. As the psalmist confesses, God's creation is full of wisdom. The reason humans can live on this earth is because God laid the grounds for us. He set the earth on its foundations. It can never be moved. So long as we remember this, we cannot become arrogant. After creating the world, God has never turned his eyes away from it. God feeds all his creation and has our lives in his hands. Fourth point, the psalm is the song of God who remembers his promise to the thousands generation. Psalm 105 praises God for all the things God has done for Israel. Psalms 78, 106, and 136 all remember how God delivered the Israelites from the hands of Egypt and into the desert. The psalmist thanks God and praises Him. God made a covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and Jacob, and kept this with their descendants. Abraham, who believed in God's covenant, is indeed admirable. Thus, God called Abraham his friend, 
but you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. God carried out countless miracles for Abraham's descendants. The reason God chose Israel was for them to keep his laws. The psalmist thanks God and also boasts his name. God's blessing has continued ever since. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. This blessing started with Abraham, was continued by Jesus, and is with us today. Fifth point, the psalmist sang that God's grace is everlasting. Psalm 106 is called a hallelujah song, and it praises God with a singing heart. Similar contents can be found in Psalms 113, 135, 146 through to 150. The psalmist sings to God who kept his promise with the Israelites by leading them into the promised land. The psalmist recounts the history. We have sinned even as our ancestors did. We have done wrong and acted wickedly. The psalmist thanks God for his everlasting mercy and forgiveness and for the history of Israel. Although he heard the complaining of the Israelites in front of the Red Sea, he still granted them blessing and saved them. Even when they made idols and served other gods, God still had mercy on them. We too can live a life looking to him or shifting away from him. This is really down to earth. The Israelites experienced God's miracles in the desert. However, it did not take them long to forget God's grace, which led them to make idols and do other unthinkable things. But they soon forgot what he had done and did not wait for his plan to unfold. In the desert, they gave in to their craving. In the wilderness, they put God to the test. So he gave them what they asked for, but sent a wasting disease among them. Despite so, God still sent manna to them, all throughout their stay in the desert, and let them leave. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.